well uh, the first news it's this video will exclusively be only about one person uh, no video we're definitely going to have some bits and pieces news about something else as well but this one person is definitely going to take the icing on the cake of this video because he is the main course Let everything else is actually cider so Let's talk about Andre Onana. But first, let me remind you if you see daily Arsenal content, best place to be considered subscribing. And if you want to support my work because you've been following me for, for a very long time, I think the best way to help me out, super chat, take the subscriptions of my channel so that you can support me. But one of the biggest way that you can support me in this my battle with the YouTube algorithm is hit that like if you just like the episode. Like in any way, hit that like. If you don't like, hit that dislike. But comment. Comment and let me know do you want uh, Andre Onana to come to Arsenal. Now, let's just jump into the news that we got for you, shall we? So, a new era is about to begin and a new player being linked with Arsenal. So, as we speak about, here's the big part. Uh, the first thing is that Andre Onana is about to be an Arsenal player, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, uh, Jack Rosser says, as been reported, Arsenal keen on Ajax goalkeeper Andre Onana. Though things are likely to become clearer after his CAS hearing tomorrow, currently serving a 12-month ban, which is being applied. So, this is, an, uh, this is from Jack Rosser. He says that, uh, you know, he writes actually a column. So, Onana, previously a target for Chelsea, ha was handed a 12-month ban in February after having failed an out-of-competition test for a banned substance furosemide the previous October. He has been unable to play or train with Ajax, who were crowned Dutch champions on May 2nd since the ban was imposed, but will have his case heard as at CAS tomorrow. Before signing Edward Mendy last year, Chelsea were quoted a fee of 30 million pounds to land Onana. Any sale during this window would be greatly reduced given the ban and his lack of game time. Now how much is it going to cost Arsenal now? It's, it, it is going to cost something, right? So, but first, let us actually confirm as to from other sources, is actually this happening or are we just, you know, wasting our time? So, Charles Watts tweets out that Arsenal are interested in Ajax goalkeeper Andre Onana. First contact made in January. The situation is complicated because of Onana's 12-month doping ban. Uh, but appeal in June will be the key. So tomorrow is the appeal. So even Chris Wheatley retweeted that tweet of Charles Watson suggested that as reported last month, Arsenal are in the market for a long-term replacement for Bernard Leno, who is not expected to sign a new contract with the club. And that's what it is believed. Now, three sources say that he's, uh, he's a target for Arsenal. Here's the fourth one. Fabrizio Romano, of course, says Andre Onana is a real target in the Arsenal list confirmed as NOS uh, reported today. Arsenal are in direct contact with his agents since January. Definitive suspension period will be key to understand Onana's future. Impossible to bring such as me back. No chance. So, it's not done yet. Okay, it's not done yet. So let's, let's, uh, uh, if you still don't believe it. So Onana's lawyer, okay, his name is uh, Dolph Segar, says, of course, you hope for an acquittal, but let's be realistic. That's not going to happen. I really don't know yet. You hope for a considerable number of months less. If the penalty is shortened from one year, the national champion can look forward to six to nine million euros. If the sanction remains unchanged, transfer amount will allegedly amount to two million euros. So, so if if we shorten from one year, then it can actually cost six to nine million euros for Arsenal. If it remains unchanged, 2 million euros is going to be the price tag for uh, Andre Onana. So, it's like, it's something that Arsenal might get it, but it's funny. Also, according to NOS, uh, well, they say, very funny story, but they say that uh, Onana cases, files, acquittal, acquittal unlikely, verdict tomorrow, his departure for Arsenal is imminent. Arsenal, unlike other clubs, view him as their number one. So, Andre Onana being considered as the number one for by Arsenal. And uh, if you still don't believe me, AFC Bell tweeted out, God damn it. You gotta believe me now. 
So AFC Bell tweets out, the interest in Andre Onana is very real. A salute to journalist Charles Watts for sharing this exclusive news before any media outlet. A source close to the nego negotiating table tells that everyone at Arsenal approved this choice. Everyone there voted positively to sign him. And to which AFC Bell closed by saying, we will closely monitor developments in this matter. So it looks like it's going to be Andre Onana, ladies and gentlemen. Andre Onana is the kind of player that Arsenal looking at at the moment. So that is that. So Andre Onana is in the radar for Arsenal from literally every goddamn source that I'm actually getting on, on internet. Everyone is saying Andre Onana to Arsenal is imminent to happen. Crazy stuff. So here's the big part. Bukayo Saka. Oh, I got the wrong, oh my god, I hate myself because of that. Okay, okay, let's change the topic. Yeah. We will, uh, yeah, we're stuck with something. Alright, we'll deal with that later I guess we're not getting the image fine fine so next news yeah next news so this is TT Kone a freestyler who is followed by Bisuma Pepe and Obama Yang under Bisuma's latest Instagram post you just put the king kind of thing to which someone says uh, the Arsenal fans are going to love Bisuma to which TT Kone replied yes Insha Allah is what he actually replied to it. So everyone wants this to happen, man. This is crazy. Crazy, crazy stuff. Also, uh, last week, Mark, uh, two months ago, Mark Omas already said in, in an interview that Onana does not want to renew with Ajax and that the negotiations have stopped. So next summer he'll be a free signing ladies and gentlemen and that itself is going to be crazy super stuff and super news and of course the one and only Albert Sambilokonga well he's a very uh, uh, the Belgian Congolese midfielder very highly rated ladies and gentlemen very very highly rated and he's, a, he's going to be a crazy signing because Arsenal are following him most intensively and an offer of 15 to 20 million euros like the highest attainable price for the player. So, strongest possibilities of Albert Sambi Lokonga coming to Arsenal. <coughs> so, Albert Sambi, uh, Sambi Lokonga, I've actually shared some images of his gameplay already, but still, I think I can actually come up with something as well. So, let me just pull that file for you guys if I can find it. Damn it, I get those files, but I cannot just find it at one point of time. And that's where the problems begin. Sambi Lokonga. There we have it. So, here it is. Sambi Lokonga. The stats of Sambi Lokonga. A data summary that you can actually see. It's a very unrailing, underlying numbers. Super numbers for Albert. Sambi Lokonga. So, right. So, what else do we have for you guys? Uh, there has to be something. Yes, so, okay. So, young player of the season nominations are here, and the nominations are Calvert Lewin, Ruben Diaz, Phil Foden. Ilan Melier, Mason Mount, Rashford, Declan Rice and Bukayo Saga. Congratulations for being, na being named into the nominations for the Young Player of the Season Award, Bukayo Saka. But by the way, we also had our own award ceremony, but first, uh, Trevor Sinclair said on talks for that winning the Champions League has made Chelsea the biggest team in the city. But O'Hara countered, he said, I disagree, sorry Trevor, I'm a Spurs fan, but you can't get away from the fact Arsenal are the biggest club in London. 
If we're going on history, real success of our football club, fan base and everything that comes with the football club, I'm sorry. Chelsea are the most successful club in London right now. We know that, but they've got a billionaire owner and they are the most successful club. But anyways, anyways, so, uh, well, if you can see, these, these, are, these, are, these are my uh, uh, videos. Check it out. And also, I've got uh, a wonderful video wherein I've actually uh, did an award ceremony. It's fun. And if you agree, just watch that video. I think, I think you'll like it. So, I will see you in the next one. Until then, cheers. Keep smiling. And keep following for the transfer news of Arsenal and other stuffs as well. Cheers.